Welcome back to this episode of Living the Wiccan Life. We're bringing you interviews from our recent trip to the Universal Light Expo in Columbus, Ohio. The Universal Light Expo has been going on here in Columbus for 19 years now. As you can see, it features many interesting vendors and artisans, as well as psychic readers, musicians, and performers. Among the most fascinating are the world-famous Tibetan monks, seen here working on a sand painting. These complex works of art are created from colored sand during an event such as this as a special blessing, then swept away at the end. I'm Deborah Lindsay. I'm the uh, founder and director of the Self Health and Awareness Center in Vienna, West Virginia. And you have some very interesting things here today. Yes, it's called Sacred Geometry. We um, have a number of different styles that we make. Each one is a handcrafted work of art. And the Sacred Geometry is um, all based on universal information. It's considered the language of light. And each one has been encoded with this, within it, based on the mathematics, different information. Um, this one in particular is called the um, Genesa Crystal. And this is a Genesa Crystal that's used for meditation. People sit inside of it. And um, it's used to heighten the meditations. It's, um, the Genesa Crystal itself, though, has both the masculine and feminine aspects. And it is, um, it is the shape of the cell uh, of all organic life at the third cell division. So from there, something becomes a tree or a cat or a person, a male or a female. So it's really the shape of all possibilities. It has within it the female and the male aspects. So the female is the triangular side, the square is the masculine side. So for that reason, it's a, used for um, uh, manifestation. So you can, if you want to receive something, you send it into the um, female side or the triangle. And if you want to send something, you send it into the masculine side. And the crystal holds the energy and sends it out for you. And these are very similar pieces here. Yes. Um, could you explain uh, what, how these are used? This, they use the same way. Yeah, this one is actually, it's a rose quartz stone. And the rose quartz is in here. So what this one is doing is it is actually holding an intention for healing relationships and sending love out into the world. And it can be programmed in different ways with different yeah. stones, perhaps? Yeah, you can change the stones out. If you look over here, we have a black sapphire infused quartz. Um, and then we have, um, here's a soda light. So people can change out the different um, crystals at any given time to change their intentions. That's very cool. Thanks. Uh, if, if someone were interested in learning more about this or in purchasing one of these, how could they contact you? They can contact us at, um, uh, we have two websites, the genesacrystals.com, G-E-N-E-S-A-C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-S.com. We'll have all the information on the crystals. If, uh, they could also call 304-428-2680 and talk to Joe Fielder, he's the artisan. Or they could um, go to selfhealthandawarenesscenter.com and find out about all the other different events that we have going on. Wonderful, thank you very much. Thank you. And here we have Debbie demonstrating the use of the Genesa crystal. How does it feel? I'm feeling a lot of energy, a lot of vibration. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, but it's very intense. So you, you, you can say that it works? Yes. Very good. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Living the Wiccan Life and that you'll join us again next week when we'll bring you our final interview from the Universal Light Expo with Dr. Raymond Buckland. I think you'll find it a fascinating interview well worth coming back for. Until then, may you blessed be.